Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will look at the Hypostis pink polka dot plant that can be easily grown indoors in a warm bright location. This plant is native to Southeast Asia, Madagascar etc. This is a tropical to subtropical plant and will do well in places like India. This is related to the Phytonia or the nerve plant. This gives out blooms and the name Hypostis comes from the fact that the flowers are hidden in these fused bracts. The hypo means under and the estia means house. The blooms are purple in colour and are striking in their own right. They do produce seeds and it can become invasive in forest areas and I've seen this growing in the forest of Kunur. So please be careful if you're growing this in your area and it is identified as an invasive species. Though the Hypostis is a native of some parts of Southeast Asia, the polka dot cultivars may invade some parts of this subcontinent, so do your research and then get this plant. Especially if you live in hilly areas like Wayanad, Uti, etc., I would suggest you don't grow this plant. This plant is non-toxic to cats and dogs. This is majorly grown for these splashes of colours on its leaves that come in different shades of pinks, reds, whites, yellows, etc. In this episode, we will look at some quick care tips and we will also look at its propagation. Sunlight This is a partial sunlight plant and can be grown in really bright locations in your home. It is very easy to understand if the plant is getting too much or too little sunlight. The colour will be more prominent if it is getting enough sunlight and if it isn't getting enough sunlight then the colourful splashes will reduce in size. If kept under full sun, the plant will bleach and it can burn. The less of the sunlight, the more leggy this plant can become. So I would suggest a southwest unobstructed location when indoors. Watering. Give this consistent wetness when grown outdoors and when indoors make sure you don't overwater this plant. Fertilizing. Add compost every month during summer and you can also use seaweed fertilizer once every two months. Pests. This is a mealybug magnet so please use neem oil pesticide thrice a week till you see the infestation reduce. Mealybugs can kill the plant if you don't take care of it very soon. Pinching. This plant has an intrinsic tendency to grow leggy so cut off these stalks once they finish blooming so that the undergrowth grows more bushy and the plant will live longer. Humidity. A little bit of humidity can go a long way in keeping this plant really happy. So if your area is dry then mist their leaves like this once a week during the summer months. Propagation. You can easily propagate this plant with stem cuttings. So take a stem cutting, the longer the better. Cut it in such a way that you have at least two leaves on the top and remove all the lower leaves. Take a container with a well-draining mixture of sand, compost and cocoa peat of equal proportion. This is also the potting mix you can use for when you are repotting this plant. Place the cuttings into the container and water the soil and keep it in a shaded east-facing location or bright location. Do not keep moving the plant that would disturb the root development. In a matter of few weeks, new roots would form and repot it maybe after two months. So folks, this is a great plant for container arrangements, but with a lot of greatness also comes a lot of responsibilities. So be a responsible gardener and check if this plant is invasive in your region. If so, don't buy it and cause harm to your local ecosystem. If at all I come to know that this plant is invasive in my zone or any plant for that matter, I would burn the plant. It may be gruesome, but it is the right thing to do. So with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this particular plant show. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.